In this lesson, we'll show you a few things about um, Revit sloped piping in our Revit uh, 2017. And I've just got, uh, I'm opening a 3D view. I use the mechanical template file to start. And I've just got, you know, some eight inch pipe going along here, zigzagging, nothing special about that. And at this point, um, and I should pick something before I swivel, um, we can see that, you know, there's those pipes. We've got some other pipes in the side over there. But so um, what happens is um, when you want to use slow piping, you can slope it on the fly. So as you draw the pipe, you can go into, you know, uh, systems and then you can draw a piece of pipe and then you can draw, you can add the slope as you go. So you can say, okay, I want a slope of, you know, a certain amount, I'll exaggerate it here. And then off you go. And as, and I'll use my shift key to kind of keep it square. But as I'm drawing and I've set my diameter and stuff over there, you know, and I click along here, escape, escape. You know, if you know the slope ahead of time and it's gravity fed, you can see there's that kind of, this is flat, this one is slope. Um, you add your slopes in under systems, under piping over here, and then we go down to our different um, slope options inside of pipes. We go to slopes and these are here. We can say add a new slope and you can put a new slope in there, you know, 1 16th type of thing, 1 16th of an inch uh, over one foot. And we can convert from percentages as well. 0.5% is, you know, a certain fraction. So that's pretty easy if you want to add it in as you go. Really easy. And that's probably a good way to do it if you are um, drawing it from scratch and you know it's going to be sloped. Why not slope it in the beginning? Now, if you've got piping that's already in there, I'm going to take this stuff and delete it. And you need to change the slope after the fact. Then what you have to do is select the... Um, group of pipes. So of course, using our tab key, we can pick on here and we can hover over here and we can hit tab and it'll basically find that string. Sorry, uh, anywhere you click and then you hover and then tab and then pick. Now, if you try to slope only one segment of a connected line, Revit really doesn't like it because it's not really sure what to do because it just doesn't make sense. It prefers to have the whole run slope, not just one part. So we can also just hover over here and go tab, 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 and it'll pick pick all of those, right? So selecting is normal tabbing. So you can click, hover and tab to select and then click to grab, you know, from A to B, or you can just hover and then tab, 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 and it'll pick them all. We'll see that when we get over here. So after the fact, so we're gonna hover, tab, click. We've got all those pipes and we're gonna see our, um, sloping options over here and mine's hidden but you just hover and you say slope so you go into kind of the slope editor and you're going to see a red arrow okay what that does is the start of the red arrow is the fixed point so if you slope this is not going to change okay so what this is going to do is this is going to slope up to here at whatever slope you add inside of here and i'll exaggerate so this is going to be the fixed point i hit finish and then it's going to slope up. That's it, nothing to it. Now, if any time you wanna change it, you just grab all your pipes and you go back to your um, slope option and you simply go back to here and set it to be zero and that flattens them out. Okay, so we can do that anytime. So you can also pick your, your end that you want to slope. Let's say we, we don't want it to slope up this way, we want it to slope up in the other direction doesn't matter which one we pick we tab to grab all of these guys we go in and hit our slope option and then what happens because neither one of these has a vertical stack if you put a vertical stack on the end it forces it to slope down to that point because it assumes you're going downhill from there so what I can do is watch this click on here now what happens this is my fixed point and it's going to slope up from here so this is my fixed point this is my fixed point. So if I change that to be my fixed point, change this to be my slope, and then hit finish, it's going to slope up to here. Okay. Now, if there is, I'm going to just undo that. If there is a vertical piece of pipe on the end of there, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to say create similar. 
and I'm going to hover over there and I'm going to grab that and all I'm going to do is you know take an offset of say zero feet and then hit apply and it's going to just draw a piece of vertical pipe so this pipe now knows that there's a drain there it's going straight down and that is going to make a difference when we go to do our piping watch hover over here and I'm going to hover over here sorry click hover tab and grab that same exact same pipes right but this time this has a stack I'm going to go into here and say slope and in this case it's not going to I don't think I hit slope there that was a mistake click on here hover tab click and then grab my slope and now it's saying this is the fixed point. It is the low point, which means it's going to slope down to here. And you'll notice this has now disappeared because it is not going to ever assume that this is going to slope down from this point with this vertical here. So you really have no choice in this particular case. So if you wanted to go the other way, delete this guy or disconnect it and do the sloping and then add this guy in. But as long as there's a vertical there, it will only let you slope so if I go into here, click on here, it's going to do a slope. And it, this is my low point, and it's going to be fixed. And I hit Finish. And that's going to be now sloping from there down to that drain. OK, now let's take that same thing and go over here to a little more uh, busier system. Watch what we can do. I'm just, it's this easy. I can go. Notice neither end has a vertical stack. So if I click on here and I go, over to this end, same as I did before, tab to pick all these guys. If I say slope, okay, it's going to do the same as it did before. I'm going to get a red arrow. This is my low point sloping up to here, or I can click on here. This is my low point sloping up to here. Okay, this is the wider pipe, right? So that makes sense. This is my fixed point which is then going to drain because my pipes are gathering this way and going this way. It wouldn't make sense to put it over here because this would be sloping from fatter pipes into thin, thinner pipes. So we do want to switch that back to there. We hit finish and it'll slope that run based on this being the fixed point and sloping then upwards from there. Okay, watch, it's going to slope up. Now this is at a higher elevation over here. You can pick on that pipe and you can see the elevation is at uh, 7 feet 11 and this pipe is at 4 feet 4. So our sloping is coming from there and sloping all the way down to there. Now, on uh, the last part, what you can also do again, you can change it. You can zero it all out, as I said earlier, by picking them all and changing the slope to zero. But watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to tab 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 click now i've got all the pipes in the system that are connected okay i'm going to do the same thing watch i'm going to say slope slope the whole system all at once and in this case part of it's already sloped so it's not going to let me change anything because it's already sloped but i'm going to say finish and not only is it going to leave this at that slope but it's also going to take all these horizontals that are over here and it's going to slope them as well so that it's not going to change the base main line but all of my now my um my horizontals here have all gotten a little bit slope okay now i want to zero it all up so i'm going to grab them all i'm going to go back to my slope and go on to here and i will say half inch 12 note zero hit okay finish and done so now they're all going to be flat again right back to being no slope so again if i wanted to do them all at once okay i just hover tab and click all of them and then and then now they're back to zeros right so i'm going to go tab 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 click right from the get go go into here go into my slope okay now i have the choice of changing my slope again because they were all flat. So I want to do the same thing. This is my fixed point sloping up towards there. Finish. So all of these little horizontals are going to get sloped as well as the main trunk. So you can slope all of your pipes um, in one system at the same time. And the same rule goes with these guys. 
um, as I demonstrated over here, okay? If any one of these ends has a vertical stack going down, it is naturally going to assume that it is draining towards that point regardless. Revit doesn't actually look at the size of the pipes when it comes to sloping, strangely enough, but the moment you put a chase going down, that system is going to naturally slope towards that vertical stack. Makes perfect sense. So a little bit of information for you um, from CAD clips on Revit sloped piping.